casters. I hope you guys are ready because I know I am. It is game number one, everyone, with Luminosity Gaming versus NRG. Thank you so much, Kelly, and the analyst desk. It's time now to get this one underway. It's been a year in waiting, Agro. A year in waiting, and we're finally here. Biggest key about this one, though, Agro, as you think about it, is they both have a bit of plot armor. Yes. LG have always made a semi final minimum every yep. single year. Energy won every single championship they've been to so far. And so... they've always had these incredible titanic battles against one another. And I can't imagine this one is going to be anything different. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's best of three or best of five. This is, I, I, I'd be shocked if this didn't go right down to the, to the wire in game three. A Barracuda has made the rotation to the duo lane now, and he's going to be able to push that wave in. And Alito still sat in the mid lane with Yammer at the moment, but on the right hand side of thing, Mask in a bit of trouble. Nice little sash to escape some of the damage. Adapting going to walk away. Maniac hanging around a little bit longer than expected, but it's all good for the time being. I believe the only time we've seen it was fairly early on in Baskin's mid transition, so you assume he's a little bit more. Oh, Aquarius is a bit of trouble here. Needs to get back to the tower and do so, Joe, oh, no, not in time whatsoever. Bluestone Pendant will get first blood for energy esports. You have more abilities to use, you're going to be using more mana, so this meditation can kind of help alleviate that weakness. Well, we saw energy play a little bit earlier on this week, and we saw Rathus start with the Watcher's Gift, and here's an engage from Adapting going in, going to force the portal on a basket, the ultimate actually defensively away. Speed buff, however, was stolen away cheekily enough. Maniac completely different than Dimmy. Dimmy was the best team oh. fighting solo laner. Oh, in the mid lane pressure, and there's the ultimate mask has managed to take to the sky. Just Rafa, which isn't the prime target, but the taunts from Yamin are so strong. There's no escape from Mask, and now adapting on the rotation. Kinesh is in trouble. Maniac here, but a great double portal from Baskin. Might just be enough to get him out. Bear is here, too. Barra around the back, looking to clean up and get Rafa. But Rafa sneakily gets away. Jukes the unstable vortex from Baskin, but can he juke Emelito? Baskin's looking for a potential escape route. But Amelito recognizing he's not going to be able to find a kill, even if he hits all three. And you can see at the moment, LG do have a 500 gold lead, but you just mentioned it's generally all on Baskin with that lead over Yamin as it stands for the time being. Although Barracuda with a bit of a level lead over Amelito is going to make a bit of an impact on that right hand side too. But Maniac looking to aggress on his own at the moment. Mask off the mark. Big jump though. And here comes Adapting with that ultimate three man knockup. But Baskin's going to put down Maniac. Oh, Raph is in trouble, but Baskin. He gets his second kill. He's hunting and looking for blood now. Adapting trying to juke, but you can't juke the shotgun. There's three. Run, Yamin, run, because Baskin's taunting you. Back to your tier one tower. That's the mid lane carry right there for Luminosity. The big triple kill for Baskin. And that was not some last hits either. He's doing all of the damage for Luminosity right now. And now it's a speed buff for potentially invaded on this side. Baskin did steal one a little bit earlier, but maybe this is the Manta watch. Baskin in the mid lane seems to be here, and the crowd is cheering the speed buff steal. Hey, man, they're cheering anything if Luminosity is doing it, especially when they're doing it with this amount of j just swagger from Luminosity. Something like a Jotun's Wrath. I thought we'd see Brawlers on the other side for Luminosity to deal with the healing from Sylvanas. Well, let's just watch this back from Baskin's point of view of how this fight forced space and side Ooh. hits one there for free. And then it was Focus on to pick up Rather. And then next up, Adapted is just trying to live as long as possible. As you saw, Aquarius actually disappeared to the right-hand side. That, just a great fight from Baskin, but Aquarius does a great job there as well, hitting that huge knockup. But is that the focus from Energy now? We're hanging a second. Mask in a bit of trouble. Went in deep, engaged on by Adapting. Into the sky goes Amelito, looking to clean it up, but it's not needed because Yamin was there. Now Jeff in trouble as he's torn in and knocked up by Rapper. Two quick kills. And I spoke too soon, surprisingly enough, because now it's energy on the Gold Fury. Gold Fury down to half HP. Barrett does have his ultimate. Think about it. Baskin coming in a little bit too early to steal it. Energy going to get the Gold Fury. And now Baskin's going to run. Doesn't have any portals available, but I don't think energy can catch just yet. Maniac coming around the side. Baskin should have his Got portal. Aquarius. Looking to buy a second and will get away. And even Barracuda just showed his face for a second to make sure that mid laner does not get bounty down. But look at energy. They want more. Aquarius only here to defend it is raged out. Portal Demon down to about half HP. Aquarius getting in to try and put some poke onto it. Baskin still lurking around that wall. Reset. Coming out from energy for a second, but not fully. Aquarius still in there. Portal Demon goes to energy. Aquarius has been slain. Six to four in energy. 
Hawks won the gold back in their favor. Look at the gold difference. It's nothing. Speedbuff has spawned, though, and a little cheeky steal attempt not going to happen. Although in mid lane, Ganesh ult was used early on as the Tower Siege was underway. Space and time oh, fired. Wrap is off, but so is Amelito. Both supports are down, and now the siege continues. Mask going to fall again. Adapting gets that kill. Now the energy is going to be able to get pick up this tier one without much else to worry about. Keep an eye on Baskin, he's the real damage dealer, and that's why Emelito's going in hard onto him. But Yamin's gonna run for Aquarius, who picks up one. Adapted, he gets first in the back of the head and goes down too. And now it's LG marching down mid lane, looking potentially, I think, are they just back in for safety here? No tier one tower. They have no minions, so there's nothing up, uh, up to farm, so they may as well back reset and put themselves in a position where they can try and invade the fight, while healthy. Right? Every time that Maniac has out-rotated Aquarius, it's been Energy's fight, but when I, I thought so, I thought so. The way they back told me that it might be trying to fire giant. But Maniac and Rapper are here. Maniac fully focused. Shotgun in the face by Baskin. Trapped in the square of doom. Maniac doing what he can to buy as much time as possible. LG got the kill, but now the reinforcements are on the way back. Rapper, Rapper just blinks in. He blinked in and there's no one there to help him, really. He pulls Mask in, trying to get some good damage on him, but he's still alive. Silenced out and knocks up three. Round the corner was Yavin, trying to use the drums over the wall. And did you see a little bit tilted right now? But I believe so, isn't his snipes have been on point every single time. Baskin provides portals to jump right on top of Yamin. Silence. He his jump silence down. Barra still chasing him. Barra, can he get for the long range shot? I don't think he can. We'll find it this time. Jeff, the one the front line's gonna make sure the portal from Baskin does connect. But Aquarius is back. He was sneaking, sorry, Dabsing's back. He was sneakily waiting around the corner, looking for pressure, and Jeff's out of mana. Emil's out of mana as well, but Adapting's gonna get one. It's a blood Adapting's path. gonna get three. Baskin, the only one left alive for Luminosity, and now it's Energy's turn to try and get the Fire Giant. I wonder if Adapting will turn towards Baskin, but no, instead he'll take the blue buff. The rest of his damage dealers, Yamin and Amelito, still on this they don't fire know with Maniac coming around, but Baskin hasn't now they do. given up hope yet. He's got no relics. This is a really risky position for Baskin to be in. He's getting collapsed Raffer's on yeah. right now. He doesn't see Rapper behind him. He see him. And now he'll find out that Amelito was also waiting after that nice route coming out from Rapper, and it's Mask versus the whole of energy. Let's have a look at that triple kill from adapting there that time round, because that was a good one to have a look at. And Tell this is it. classic adapting. He, we saw him kind of move away from this, come around the back assassin style for a little bit at Super Regionals. But here he is playing a warrior like he would have played his Thor, his Kamazots, whatever, coming in at the back end of a team fight and just cleaning up and wrecking the house. Nice work from Energy there, but this is living up to what everyone was hoping for. There's always a, a little bit of a risk in these games when everyone's so hyped for it that they don't live up to expectation. But these are two prize fighters now, it feels like, just smacking each other in the face and then taking it back on their own. It's like over and over again. LG Energy has yet to disappoint, and I did not think that it was going to this year either. They always have amazing sets. Well, take into account how Season 4 has been all year long, as Phoenix defenses has been the key to success Very true. for some of these teams. Very true. And maybe that's what LG are going to look for here. Adapting in the mid lane, going to push out a couple more minions, basking around the corner as well. Keeping out for the space inside, but here we go. Aquarius goes here in. Come. Rafa ults defensively, first of all, and the drums of war have been sounded from Yamin. Big damage out of Yamin. Tons Aquarius back in. Emilito taken to the sky trying to find Aquarius, but he can't find him. Luminosity doesn't force energy back, but they don't lose anyone in the process. Exactly, and that is, it's a perfect hybrid of what's strong right now and what fits Adapting's playstyle. Fire Giant has been pulled and slowly chipped away by Emilito, but it's Jeff Good taking damage. a bit of poke, and there's Adapting making sure he gets to Baskin. Sashing from Mask onto Adapting, new overhead kicks away. Yamin sounds the drums, though, and already Jeff Hill is dead. Emilito oh! from Mask from downtown! And now Aquarius will fall too. LG are in tatters here. Energy not even looking for the Fire Giant. They can look straight for the Phoenix. Well, three members of Energy on the left-hand side. Looks like Maniac may be joining them soon. Adapting still split pushing the mid lane here to keep pressure there. Giannis on the right-hand side, played by Baskin, is just going to clear out some fire minions, but Aquarius goes in, uses his ultimate to force out Energy. Yamin did jump away then, so wait for his cooldowns before we see Energy reinitiate, unless... 
LG group up. Mask got poked down to half by adapting all by himself, so Mask had to go back to base in order to heal up. That's why Luminosity doesn't feel too confident trying to defend this. Uh, you know, a, a throwaway Dharmic Pillar, not enough to stop energy. And now there's only one Phoenix standing for energy to look to take down away from LG. Ultimus down for Aquarius and for Jeff Hindley here, whereas nobody on energy has used an ultimate yet. So that is another one down as Mask goes up. There's a through space and time as well. Got him. The timing. The, the timing. How did you predict that, you god? But not good enough, because energy, you may get one of us, but there's still four more standing at your Phoenix with the Fire Giant, and you've used everything to just remove Emily. So that's what, that's what this comp is designed to do, but it's only single target. Jeff Hinla in there trying to defend that Phoenix. He will fall to Yaman, who has six kills of his own. Energy very close to claiming LG's last remaining Phoenix. The Phoenix will go down, and five minutes on the right means this could spell disaster here. Barracuda could fall momentarily. He's trying to do what he can to sustain with his assy, but he won't get back to the fountain in time. And Baskin, the last line of defense, seven, one and four for him. But this could, should, and will be game one for Energy, the defending world champions. Find the win. Luminosity had a great start to the game, but it all comes back to that one fight where Adapting comes around the back, gets that triple kill, and Energy gets a Fire Giant that expand, you know, expands a very small lead into an insurmountable one. I think the biggest thing from that right for me, the nausea. And, and yeah, that confidence was really good at the start of it, but towards that mid and late game, it was a little rough. We can actually see Giannis here with that snipe very at the end of the game, actually getting a kill off of someone. Unfortunately, they really weren't able to turn that around because Energy just comes back and wipes the team. If Energy takes this, they will be going off against Rival in the semifinals. Everyone make some noise. It's game number two for Luminosity Gaming versus NRG. Thank you so much, analysts. And yes, we are live ready for these guys to get it underway for game two. Onto that Discordia, especially with adapting on that Robin and Maniac from Erlang Shen. And then not only that, you've also got that Hagrid. A second blink can be burnt on Yamin early on. That's a nice little tricky play there from Luminosity, if I do say so myself. Very smart there. Gets the beads out from Yemen, and now he's very susceptible to any sort of CC, and there's oh. plenty of it on LG. Don't think we recognize that was behind him. We're too busy focusing on chunking down Maniac, who eats a lot of damage there. But did go put double health potions. Aquarius is going to get some return damage back too, but already mid lane. Barracuda is dead, and Melito and Yamin combine to pick up first blood in game two. Oh no, not a good start for Luminosity. Might not be a good start on the right-hand side either, but Mass is about to transform here. And the Rue is good on the body block, comes into play. The dash is there for Mask, and now he's back into the fray. Looking a little bit more like his old self we've seen this year. Very good start. Nowhere. Mask was the one that we were worried about. He, we needed to see him have some confidence. I like that he gets an early kill here. Put him on a god where he doesn't need to have that insanely hard skill shot for the ult. Well, it's been all action all day, so let's just get a recap quickly. What happened for that first blood? Barracuda just trading with Emelito and not being respectful in the amount of damage Yamin can put out. So the drums, the beat was too good. Yamin in the mid lane, already stacking up this Doom Orb. Only needs 40 stacks these days and sat at six as the speed buff is looked at. Yamin going to be stronger than Basket at this stage to try and invade, not only because of the God Selection, but the itemization as well. But Speed still secured. Ooh, Root does connect from Strife on Baskin. Mask going to go aggressive onto Adapting. Adapting has to ult away defensively. No continuation of chase from LG. They'll take the small win there. Experience though, a bit more telling 1500 as it stands. Mostly due to that first flood where that gold lead comes from. Here comes yeah. that ultimate. And the dunk could be good onto Aquarius. It will connect. The top follow-up was even better. He stopped the walls getting dropped down. Oh, Bimu got stunned in place, however. But Rapper will get the kill. Mask looking to mainly run away and try and get away from the danger. But I Rafa Athena with a double kill. Aquarius just continues to farm up just a level down on Maniac as it stands. Still a full minion wave there, but in the jungle, Mask gonna try with adapting for a second and Mask came out the wisp, but where of that one? That's what Robin does so well, those little drive-by hits that can Ooh. really bring you low. Ooh. Hello, Emelito going for it. The pony has been mounted, but the horsey will get him away just in time. They're hiding behind the rocks there. You may not be able to see it, obviously, through the spectator, but 
just couldn't get the vision of Melito to guess which way Barrow went. Good poke on a Jeff Hinla, but the Raiju can't be detonated still. This is a good opportunity. Now Bat and Yaman's gonna get it, bringing that him down to half health. Great speed buff opportunity. Well, it is for a second, but Mask will go aggressive. Ults more than anything to chase them away. Aquarius round the back, however. Adapting has to ult away from the walls as a taunt. Came into play for Maniac 2, just to make sure energy could disengage. Speed buff goes to Luminosity. Bit of focus around the speed buff once again. No real surprise. That's really the focal point from all junglers at all times. Yamin! He's the one looking for a cheeky steal. Won't be. Uh, see. Oh, he did get it away. So Yamin will live to fight. Now drums of war sounded. The salmon fish was down, and now Mask also ulted. He's still under pressure. That was all Yamin and adapting got the kill. Perfect patience. Rapper gonna use his ultimate. Try and get back. I like that little play to Ooh. throw the golden apple onto Athena. That she's gonna bring that straight for to her teammate, but it still doesn't end up mattering. Just a little bit for the time being. Purple buff, though. The dance begins here. No rotation. Look at where Adapton's positioned in the mid lane. Just waiting in case anyone tries to come through the mid area to help out Jeff and Barra. Mask, though, has come around the corner and they've spotted him. Mask could be the focus target here. Round the back comes Yamin, too. The uh -oh. aggression's on Rafa, but Rafa is just baiting away, as he always does. And it's Jeff Hitler that will pay the price. Barracuda may fall, too. Just trying to get away from Emelito. Has he got the snipes this time? No. Oh. But I tell you what. The Fist of Fury was waiting, adapting on Robin yet again. We'll get a double kill. Six to one, and Luminosity really down right now. Energy, can you can feel the momentum for them. Everywhere they go, they're going with numbers, and they're going with an advantage of some sort. Even besides those numbers there, it was health bars. Just healthier on the side of Luminosity, or excuse me, on the side of Energy. Aquarius in the solo lane, Baskin and Jeff Hendler. So you see a little bit more magical resistance having to be picked up by energy early on as adapting. Goes aggressive to force Mass to leap away. Yamin giving chase with Rafa on the way too, but just going to force the situation to get towards his speed bump. Rafa going to go in, finds one oh. with the taunt. Jeff Hindla just getting crushed by Yamin. Energy already starts off with a kill. And now Mass looking towards Yamin, who leaps away. Aquarius can't get round in time. Rapper with the backside is in a very awkward spot, adapting with him. Maniac, though, gets his turn off, looking for some aggression to poke some people down. Adapting, getting whittled down lower and lower, though, and Baskin will get his first kill. Mast is still going to slip away out the back for the time being, however. But left hand side, Emelito is now looking at a tier two. That tier two is going to go down, and that's tough to deal with for Luminosity, but at least they get something. They bring down Adapting. It's not the Yemen that you would have liked that's to cute. kill but it's still at least something in your pocket. Barracuda gonna come back and find the tier two tower is down. Emelito needs to run quickly because Baskin's on the way too. The stun is good. The beads and ages have both been burnt from Emil. And now Mass around the corner. All he's doing is fighting time because reinforcements might come to the rescue. Emelito just buying time. He's, he is gonna fall out. I believe energy they was just told to back up. Back up. You don't want to lose too much there. Wise call. An overcommit there to try and save Emelito could have resulted in Luminosity trying to turn the tide, and they have just a little bit. That's a window now. ML's ult is down and both relics, so that's an opportunity to try and get at least something. But now Aquarius is in the exact same spot that Emelito was just well, he's in. He's going to run as fast as he can, but he can't get away from the drums of Yamin. He's having a great game so far. And yeah, for minute one, all the way through, gets first blood on Barracuda and hasn't looked back since. Mask in trouble. He's going to get hit by that Mystic Rush, but nice knockup by Mask with a better route coming out of Adapting. Now with this situation, Yamin's going to get another kill, and now Jeff Hillen just throws Adapting deep away. Back towards the tower, but nobody really wants to fight. Barra, meanwhile, just trying to get some extra farm and take this tier one. His right-hand side, too. Yamin will get the tier one in the solo lane. It's looking a little bit grim at this point for one of the North American hopefuls this year. 93, Portal Demon goes down at less than 16 minutes in, and Energy are starting to just basically manhandle LG at this point. Fire Giant started up, and everyone on no Luminosity's backing, they have no idea. Well, the Mask is the only one even right? close. No, it, Portal's there for energy. Mask now realizing this could be going on, but FG's already down to a, a thousand health. Too late. I don't think Mask will get there in time, especially with the taunt from Rafa. Energy, get the Fire Giant, and now they'll try and run down these members like dogs. Maniac claims Mask. Aquarius will tremble himself to the ground. 
And with a quick back to base, it's time to start taking down some towers for energy. Man, energy just burns that fire giant so quickly. You don't expect him to be able to do it at 16 minutes. I think Illuminosity just kind of assumed it wasn't possible. Adapting though, keeping them busy for the timing has to be very respectful of Jeff and Baskin. But round the corner, Maniac was waiting and Baskin's in a bit of an awkward spot. Now with Amelito and Yavin coming in, Adapting will go over the wall. Yavin looking for the drums, can't find a target. He's after. Jeff Hitler will be a casualty for sure as the edge of the taunt does catch him. Once again, Jeff sacrifices himself for the greater Ooh. good, which was just about getting Barracuda out. Well, let's just go to the graphs because I see a 10k gold lead before this even tier two goes down. That's a huge lead for this. We're, like, we're 17. Team. It's only 17 and a half minutes and every tower is gone. For season three, that was a big lead for the stage. For season four, that's an even bigger lead because that's such a tricky thing to do in under 20 minutes. Hey. Slowly but surely, chip, chip, chip at this Phoenix. Not down low just yet. Energy be very respectful to LG, even though they do have this monstrous lead. Mask not even here. He's really far back in that mid lane. Does have Blink in order to close the gap when necessary. So up to Jeff Hinner at the same time. In comes Mask and knocks up four into the walls. Thanks to Aquarius. But Yamin turns around, gets out of danger and ults back in. Aquarius down to half and Emilito will not clean him up, but will force him back to base. And Mask goes back to uh -oh. base too the hard way as now energy looks for the phoenix as emelito gets barracuda jeff gonna pick up two and just throw them away big damage coming out of basket ML actually says, ml very low aquarius gonna claim him and this phoenix that's still pretty play. healthy jeff hitler may have just come up huge for lg there to hold that phoenix because that ultimate into the root combination energy couldn't get away from it so now they have to run away because emelito is dead and they don't have the phoenix damage not quite yet at least but this time going for the right side Phoenix wave pushed up on this side, that's why. Blink on Rafa and all in order. Aquarius, the up down oh, is good, and man. Yamin takes him down. Focus on Yamin though as the golden apple connects, but with the extra protections from Athena, he'll fall back to safety. Emelito in the sky, looking at Barracuda. Ooh. He hits two, but the third did not find its home. Those auto attacks, however, will find a home onto the Phoenix is adapting. Will zone the other members of LG away. This time the Phoenix falls, and that's Yaman doing so much damage again. Emil with the good snipes forcing Barra out as well. A couple of minions in the mid lane means they can whistle down the middle Phoenix very quick. Rafa in, caught on Barracuda, and there's Mass trying to get in there to help protect him, if anything. But they can't protect the Phoenix on the middle, and now there's only one left standing. I don't know if it's going to stand for very long. Emperor's armor done for Irafer, so it's even easier to bring it down. Left Phoenix. Slowly being well down, Jeff and Mask are both going to get toyed. Knocked up by Maniac onto both, and Mask is already dead as Yamin will thunder crush him for the kill. Aquarius so with a good little trap here. They need some damage to support, because the rumble, not in the jungle, is going on. Barracuda gets the kill, but gets traded back out thanks to Emelito. In goes Adapting with a celebratory ult, looking for Baskin, and Baskin just trying to wade his way back to his fountain will not be the case. The Phoenix on the left will fall. Energy still the champions for now. Whatever you thought was going to happen here at HRX, you better have remembered that it goes through energy first. They take down LG and move on to the semifinals. Third time is not the charm for Luminosity. We may see them again next year, but for now, the defending world champions are once again going to a semi-final.